Sonic Blast Man is a video game franchise by Taito starring the titular superhero, Sonic Blastman. The game originally started as an arcade game in 1991, but eventually made its way to the SNES in 1992, with much different gameplay. Both versions received a sequel. Topic. Arcade version The arcade version consists of hitting the enemies and targets. In order to win, each target has a set number of tons of resistance. Once they are depleted, they will be defeated. To hit the target, the game features a pair of gloves and a mechanical punch pad that rises when it is time to attack. The player must wear the gloves and punch the pad strongly enough to deal damage. Only three hits are allowed. The game features five stages. Within each stage, there are fairly typical scenarios that most superheroes encounter. Each level is progressive in terms of difficulty. The stages in the game A woman being assaulted by a thug. A baby carriage pushed in the middle of the freeway by accident, and a truck will soon run over it. An armed group took control of a building that is now its center of operations. A giant crab is terrorizing a cruise ship. An asteroid is set to crash into Earth. In March 1995, Taito recalled Sonic Blastman machines after reports of players who sustained injuries by playing the game. A year later, the Consumer Product Safety Commission announced that Taito had agreed to pay a fine of $50,000 USD for failing to disclose these injuries. Topic. SNES version The SNES version is a beat-em-up. In this version Sonic Blastman must save the Earth from diverse kinds of evil forces, from street gangs and terrorists, to aliens and robots and finally, an evil clone of himself under the name of Dark Sonic Blast Man. The fight starts on a construction site in Earth and ends up in outer space. The game is only for one player. As in any beat-em-up, the game consists of defeating the enemies on screen before continuing in the stage. Sonic Blastman can punch, jump, and grab his enemies, too. He also uses a special attack that knocks any enemy nearby, but it dizzies him temporarily. Another particular feature is the way Sonic Blastman holds his enemies, when he approaches his enemies, he is able to grab them in order to shake them and throw them back from him, or unleash a series of punches. However, if he punches them repeatedly, he will eventually hold them, so that he can blast them with a sonic wave, hit them with a whirlwind punch or throw them backwards. All of these throwing effects depend on the direction the D-pad is being pressed when pressing the punch button. His most powerful attack is his D-punch, which must be charged with a certain button, which can be discharged. The D-punch is also a limited attack. The bonus levels are an adaptation of the arcade version. The major difference is that since there is no punch pad, the player must charge strength by repeatedly rotating the D-pad. Like with most beat-em-ups of the era, the Japanese version had female enemies especially to the dominatrices in the other game of beat-em-up Silent Dragon in Stage 1 which were replaced by male ones in the American and European versions, mostly because of Nintendo of America's strict censorship issues at the time. Only the first two stages of the game feature human enemies. Topic Legacy Both versions received a sequel. The arcade sequel entitled SBM, Real Puncher is similar to the original game, but with new levels, a photo camera mode for faces of people in each level of the game and was only released in Japan and Europe. 
The SNES sequel, entitled Sonic Blast Man 2, plays similarly to its predecessor, as well, and adds more options, new playable characters as, Sonya and, Captain Choya, two-player modes, among others. Sonic Blast Man also made a few in other games as a guest character, like Puzzle Bobble 3 along with Pritchio Lon and Jack Johnson from the saga The Legend of Ninon Bayar and KOF, Maximum Impact Regulationer by SNK Playmore along with Makoto Mizoguchi from Fighters History and Karnov's Revenge of Data East. In addition, Sonya also appears in the other game Beat Em Up, is nothing and nothing less than Ninon Bayar, adventure as a hidden character and as a sub-boss of Stage 4 before the evil boss who watches and watches the moon through the window. On February 16, 2010, Taito revealed another sequel titled Sonic Blast Heroes, at AOU 2011 conference and was planned to hit the arcades at the end of the same month. It was also called Real Puncher 2, at least in Europe, 